Hey guys and welcome back to another review with LZZ Juices and Reviews. So this time we've got a hardware review for you. Uh, I bought this at Expo uh, for review. Uh, I bought it from SMKD. Go and check them out. Link below will be in the description. Awesome, awesome guys. Uh, they're also going to be sending me some juices to review for you. Uh, the Legends E-Juice line, 13 Floors, Bear Flavors, Coil Glaze, and one juice that I have been told, but they haven't official. they have actually just gained distribution for it, but I will wait to say, because they have not released that, they haven't mentioned it yet, but that's going to be 27 flavors, so going to have some awesome uh, juices to review for you from that company or distributor SMKD go and check them out so what are we reviewing the Tesla Invader 2 3 by Tesla E6 so 2 3 so straight off the bat you're gonna go it's an it's an RX 2 3 well in a way yes um, it is but it isn't so You've got powerful Invader 2.3 Simplistic. What you've got, so you've got the two different configurations, two or three battery mode. And then on the back you have all of your information. So, uh, just I'll read off the back of it. Just uh, Invader 2.3 is another product with a higher output launched by Tesla E6. Uh, following the Invader 3, the user can choose two or three batteries and obtain different output power modes, um, adjusting the voltage by the potential meter. So you don't have uh, an up and down, which you'll see in a moment. It's uh, you do your uh, voltage changing with a potential meter. Uh, the maximum output in two battery mode is 240 watts, and in three battery mode, it's 360 watts. Uh, the product is equipped with an LED light at the bottom which allows you to better know the usage of the product. This product is suitable for users who like to use an atomizer with low resistance and the cloud vapor and it will bring an unexpected vaping experience. So let's have a look. So also on the back you've got your scratch off for authenticity. Uh, I've got this in, well, you can see green. So. I'm not going to go down to the table because there's not a massive amount to show you. Uh, so in the box you get your little manual. You get your device. So this is it guys. You've got no LED screen. You've got a nice clicky button. There we go. So, got the carbon fiber on the side there. Black back, the venting on the bottom there, on both sides. And a sprung 510 loaded 510 connector. So also in the box you'll get a battery caution card. You'll get your uh, Tesla E6 certificate of authentication and tested and you'll get the additional sleeve to run in two battery mode now I'm going to be running this in two uh, in three battery mode so we won't be using this back sleeve so that is it guys there is not much more to tell you uh, let's just quickly go through the uh, specifications so the material is a zinc alloy die cast uh, the thread is a 510 loaded the weight of it is 200 grams and uh, like I said in two battery mode uh, the maximum output is 240 watts and in three battery mode it's 360 watts uh, output, output uh, voltage range is anything from 3.3 uh, to 8 volts sorry uh, maximum outpoint current is 60 amps with a resistant range of 0 0.1 0 0.1 
all the way up to 3 ohms. Uh, an input voltage range is a 6.4 to 8.4 or in 3 battery mode 9.6 to 12.6 volts. Standby current is at 400. Uh, voltage adjustment is 1 to 5. And a blue indicator protects protections of over uh, puffing protection, reverse connection protection, atomizer short Cir uh, short circuit protection, low voltage alert and overheat protection and over current protection. So it has a lot of protections on there which your LED will flash in different uh, varying sequences to tell you what's going on there. So uh, five clicks will turn on the device. Uh, you'll get the LED will flash five times to tell you that it's active. When you power it off, it will, five clicks again, will power it off and will go into a standby mode. <clears throat> and to adjust the voltage, you literally just adjust your potentiometer. Now, the one thing I really do like about this is it's got some really, really strong magnets on there. And a nice fit. So inside there you have your... all your markings in there and your third case again so let's just uh, get batteries in this so I'm using uh, 25 hours Samsung 25 hour batteries but as you can hear when you that's a nice snug tight fit now with battery 200 grams, it's a little bit weighty, uh, but I like a heavy mod. Uh, some people, it's if you don't like heavy mods, this isn't going to be for you. So I'm going to be using uh, an RDA that's going to be coming up for re for review very soon, which is the Death Trap RDA from Deathwish Mods. So I'll just give you a little preview for this. Now this is a 30 millimeter RDA, and I'm not a fan of single RDAs, but I tell you what this RDA kicks every other 30 millimeter RDA I've tried Buddha, a beast Buddha, temple uh, they go the list goes on but this the reason I like this is the flavor and the cloud production off of the airflow that they've got bang on you'll see so I've got a single coil in here coming out at 0.24 uh, this is actually from Adam Woods uh, coil builder on uh, Facebook and everything uh, he, I did a trade of a mech with him I actually traded I got this for uh, my gunmetal raven with unholy for uh, a triple X vapors cloud mod and he sent me some coils over so I've stuck one of them in and I'll just uh, there we go So these are some, uh, some aliens. I've added an extra wrap onto them, so to increase the ohms a little bit for this. Uh, so yeah, they're ohming out at 0.24. Originally, uh, in dual mode, they'd be ohming out at 0.11, depending on uh, leg length, uh, single 0.22. So I'm gonna quickly uh, wick this up. But like I said um, a minute ago, head on over to SMKD where I bought this from the guys are second to none on their communications with the customers they're very very polite epic epic company I spent a lot of time with them at Expo um, they were actually staying at the hotel I was at so it was great we'd meet up after have a vape and everything it was a great great time so, but guys, I will also tell you that the review for this uh, Death Trap is coming very, very soon. You're going to want, if you like your big RDAs and uh, you like big exotic coils, this is the RDA for you guys. You're going to want this. So, like, there we go. Just put this one there. we go. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. So, juice wise today. Uh, a juice that's going to be coming up. Well, I've got a fair few juices to review for them, but uh, Doozy's Vape Co. 
This one is lush, a ripe strawberry and cream. Bloody lovely. So let's just give this a, a little bit of a juice up quickly. And also feel free to put a comment in the on the video. Tell me what you think of the device. It, do you, what do you think could be different? Personally for myself, I think it's really nice. I love the weight to it. Uh, maybe the only thing I could possibly recommend is that the potentiometer knob have a little knob to twist because if you haven't got a nail, you've got to get a little screwdriver out. You don't want to be doing that when you walk in, so that's the only little bit of a downside to it. Uh, but yeah, I've got this on a three. So look at that. Clouds for days. So, juice that back up. And we'll take it for a vape. So let's take it there. The delivery system is literally instant. There's no delay. You press the button, you're getting vape. Great device. I really like this. Uh, you're not going to have the battery drain because of uh, an LED screen because there is no LED screen. So I have been using this mod for a little while now. Uh, testing it, see how long battery life lasts, What if the button changed like if it was a high quality button or a low quality button and I perceive this to be a high quality mod and for £55 it's a steal for people that like their high wattages, their low builds, their higher builds it's perfect absolutely perfect The literally like as you can see I don't need to press the button hardly and you can see the vapors there, it's instant And it just the production the delivery system on this is epic, and it does have a great um, the protections on it. I have checked, tested that in the fact that I've put a coil, I've put an RDO on there with no coils in there, and gone to pop, uh, pulse it, and it will shot, it will do its protection, flash fifteen times, and then put it into a standby mode to stop you from shorting it and blowing yourself up so that's a great little it's great and battery life in three battery mode on a 0.24 to 0.3 build you're looking anywhere between three two and a half to three days battery life on three on the three setting not on max settings but on on halfway basically you'll get about two and a half days to three days battery life I am really really liking this device and I'm not normally one for regulated but this is as close to a series but not series you're gonna get with a regulated device So again guys, if you've liked the review, uh, please feel free to uh, like the video and put a comment down in the just <coughs> comments. And also, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It'll be very much appreciated. I'll see you on the next review. Peace guys.